Are you hungry? Well, Chef Creole has something cooking for us in the studios. Wave good morning. Uh, he's going to show us how to make one of his best dishes. That's coming up right after our break. Let's say le bon temps roule. <laughs> Days like this, you wish it was smell-o-vision. We got a real treat for you this morning. I'm joined by the Chef Creole, Ken Zeju, known as uh, the Chef Creole here in Miami. Been here for a while. Uh, been been doing business, Chef Creole, for 22 years. Mm -mm, that means it must be good. Oh, because we only have an en bon temps in the <laughs> kitchen. That's, That's what how I'm we do it. Oui, oui. <laughs> Let's cook. What are you making for me this oh, morning? Oh, I'm making a Louisiana's favorite. Yes. And I like it because you get three food groups all in one pot. That's what I'm talking you about. You know, you get your starch, you get your vegetables, and you get your meat. And Louisiana favorite is jambalaya. Oh, I love jambalaya. Ooh -wee. <laughs> let, me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When you're talking about going in the kitchen, yes. everybody's talking about time restraint. And you're talking about getting all of these three things in the same time it takes just to cook a pot of rice. I all love right? it. So the first thing we're going to put in there in order to get things going, we're going to go ahead and put some sausage in there. Yikes. Now, for a lot of individuals that don't have the opportunity to get your sausage coming in for Louisiana right. and do we sausage, you'll do fine mm -hmm. with the Italian spiced up sausage. Yes, Italian okay. spicy sausage. Exactly. So what I do is there's a lining in that sausage. I like to take it out. Take the lining off. Take a lining out so that way I can make my sausage any kind of way. Right. Okay. And then... You put it in there, whoo, look at that already, it's cooking. <laughs> put the sausage in there, okay, let that cook first, all right? And when you put the sausage in there, it's going to create its own natural fat, so you don't got to put any oil or vegetable oil inside this is, there. This is a little cayenne, right? I'm put, gonna put a little cayenne pepper in talking there, about. Pepper. all right? And then we're going to put a little bit. Of black pepper yep. in there. Any kind of pepper. Any kind of pepper. Pickles too. Pick ah, you know about the <laughs> pickles. That's how you do it. We now, get down like that here. Now put a little parsley. You gonna put okay. a little parsley. Mm -hmm. Gonna here put some go. thyme. Was I supposed to cut it up? No, it's okay. okay it's put in there. Big it's stem. Right. My kind right. of cooking. Just throw right. it in. Here we got. We got some tomatoes. And some green peppers. Green peppers. peppers. Yellow pepper. Red peppers. Ooh, put all wee. put all <laughs> that bad boy in there. All right. Now, once you do that, now we're going to go into the sauce building stage. Right, because the sauce is really important. What's important is the sauce. So once we get into the sauce stages, then you're going to get some tomato paste. Uh -huh. Put the tomato paste in there, okay? And once we put the tomato paste in there, now you know we're into sauce right. building. So once how long do you let it cook for? Because the meat you're putting in raw, you're not cooking the meat in advance. Well, the, the meat's being cooked. You're going to first fry your meat. You okay. fry the meat in order for it to be firm and it gets its color. Right. Okay? Once you fry your meat, then we got to build our sauce. Uh -huh. So we put the tomato paste in there and we put, add just a little bit of water. Right. And once you do that, and then we put some finishing touches like uh, bay leaf. Nice. Okay? A uh, little bit of uh, oregano. Huh? Fancy. And one of the things that I love a lot Scotch about this. Ooh, that's yeah. Jamaica's favorite, and right. I tell you, I, I use like it all it. the this time. This is a real Caribbean jambalaya. Oh, yeah, this is here. real. Well, why, while you continue to cut this, I'm going to congratulate this morning's Facebook winner because you were so generous. Frankie Maroney, you won a gift certificate of 25 bucks. This is going to go a long way for you at Chef Creole ooh, Seafood and ooh. Catering. They really know <laughs> how to do it. Like Todd says, ooh, wee. Check your Facebook messages and other folder to check your prize. And when you're all done with this, there's the finished product. Right down there, the jambalaya, jambalaya. is awesome. And we got a little bit of cloves that we're going to put Ooh, in there. Wee, wee. And you know it's Palm, it's palm, <laughs> it's palm Sunday, so a lot yes. of people may not want the sausage or the so chicken. And -wee. We got some mussels. Eh? That's right. Put some mussels in there. <laughs> and we're going to put some clams in there. And once we do that, we just give it a little Ooh, stir. We're having too much fun, but we got to go. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in. We're going to enjoy this. Uh, you know, thank you so much again. Okay. We'll have you back. Todd. All right, thank you, Nikki, Chef Creole.